Hi, my name is Haidar Ben Ahmad and my ID number is MDB2307115. Hi, my name is Muhammad Naim Syamil Bilgaini and my ID number is 2307116. Hi, my name is Muhammad Bin Kamal Rahman. My ID number is MDB2307078. Question number one, elasticity of demand. Suppose the quantity demanded of a good increase from 120 units to 150 units when the price decrease from 8 ringgit to 6 ringgit. So, we are going to calculate the elasticity of the demand for the consumer and next, we're gonna see what is the elasticity of the demand for this product. Based on this question, we know initial quantity is 120 units and the final quantity is 150 units. For the price, initial price is RM 8 ringgit and the final price is RM 6 ringgit. First, let's calculate the percentage of the change in quantity demanded. So, final quantity demanded minus initial quantity demanded divided by initial quantity demanded times 100. Hence, we got 30 over 120 times 100. So, the percentage change is equal to 25% from 120 units to 150 units. Next, let's calculate the percentage change in price. So, final price minus initial price divided by initial price times 100. Hence, we got negative 2 over 8 times 100. So, the percentage change is equal to negative 25% from 8 ringgit to 6 ringgit. Now, we can use this value to find the PD. So, the elasticity of demand is equal to the percentage change in quantity demanded divided by percentage change in price which is 25% over negative 25%. Remember that we take absolute value. For, to find the elasticity of demand for this product, we can interpret that the result uh, is uni unitary elasticity. It suggests that the demand for this product is responsive to the price change. This means that a 1% decrease in price leads to 1% increase in quantity demanded. Next question number two. This is about cross price elasticity of demand. The demand for a good in A increased from 150 units to 180 units. When the price of good B decreased from 4 ringgit to 3 ringgit, calculate the cross elasticity of demand for good B using formula. Show the word next. Provide an explanation on your answer. To calculate the cross price elasticity of demand, as it the formula. So the formula for cross price elasticity is percentage change in quantity demanded of good A divided by percentage change in price of good B. Given initial quantity demanded of good A equal to 150 units and find the quantity demanded of good A 180 units. Initial price RM4 and the final price of good B is RM3. So first, let's calculate the percentage change in quantity demand of good A. To calculate the percentage change, first 180 minus 150 divide 150 and time with 100. And then we get 30, we divide with 150 and we time with 100. Next, we will get 0 0.2 and we time with 100 and we get 20%. Next, let's calculate the percentage change in price of good B. To calculate the percentage change in price of B, so the change in price of B will divide by initial price of B and then we time with 100. The change in price of B is RM3 minus RM4 and we will get negative RM1. The initial price of B, RM4. After we divide, we will get negative 1 over 4 and we
time with 100 and the final answer we will get negative 25% now we can use these values to find the cross price elasticity of demand so to get the final answer we will divide the percentage change in demand of good a with the percentage change in price of good b so we will get the for demand we get 20 percent and for price we get negative 25 percent after we divide the final answer we will get negative 0.8 the coefficient is less than zero a decrease in the price of good b to an increase in quantity of A. What is the income elasticity of demand for this good? And what type of this product? The statement that inferior goods have a below zero income elasticity of demand means that the demand for inferior goods decrease as consumer income increase. Given initial quantity demanded equals to 6 units. Final quantity demanded equals to 3 units. Initial income equals to RM50,000. And final income equals to RM7500. First, let's calculate the percentage change in quantity demanded. Percentage change in quantity demands equals to quantity to minus quantity 1 divided by quantity 1 times 100% percentage change in quantity demands equals to 3 minus 6 divided by 6 times 100% percentage change in quantity demands equals to negative 3 divided by 6 uh, times 100% percentage change in quantity demands equals to negative 50% let's, let's calculate the percentage change in income so to find the change in income is percentage change in income 75,000 minus 50,000 divided by 50,000 times 100% percentage change in income equals to 35,000 divided by 50,000 times 100% percentage change in income equals to 0 0.5 times 100 uh, percent equals to 50 percent now we can use these values to find the income elasticity of demand so for the values of income elasticity of demand is yed equals to negative 50 percent divided by 50 percentage yed equals to negative so, one the income elasticity of demand for this good is negative one since the income elasticity of demand is negative it indicates that this good is an inferior goods an income elasticity of demand of negative one means that a one percent increase in income leads to a one percentage decrease in the quantity of the good. This confirms that the good is inferior because as the individual's income increase, they reduce their consumption of this good. For example, Saris reduce the amount of inferior goods like broken rice to buy a higher quality rice.